Hello everybody, and just here, and uh, welcome to Kobayashi San Chino Made Dragon epis not episode. What am I saying? Uh, Kobayashi San Chino Made Dragon S, the OVA. Uh, the full the full title is Kobayashi San Chino Made Dragon S Nippon no Omotenashi Atendwa Dragon Des. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid S Japanese Hospitality Attendance is a Dragon. That's the full title. And uh, why are we watching it? I haven't uh, reacted to the first season of Dragon Maid. I haven't reacted to the second season. Why the OVA? Well, you see, that's why. Someone on my Discord server uh, got my attention on the fact that uh, my channel hit 200 subs. And now it's at 222. So I thought, why not give you guys a little special, right? A little bit of a one-off uh, episode on this OVA. Uh, now, full disclaimer, I have seen season one, I have seen season two, I have seen the OVA to season one, I have seen the, uh, the Chibi series that was... Uh, uh, between no, that was accompanying season one, and there was another series I think between season one and season two, also some short videos. I've seen that as well. Moreover, I am up to date with the manga, and uh, I am up to date with uh, Kanano Nichijo manga as well. I haven't read the Elma manga, I haven't read the Lukoa manga, and I haven't read the Fafnir manga, uh, but I have. I am up to date with uh, Dragon Maid manga and I'm up to date with Kanano Nichijou manga. So full disclosure, I've seen what's gonna happen here, but in the manga form. And uh, as we all know, uh, the creators of this show uh, do take a little bit of a liberty always um, when uh, moving the manga, when adapting the manga to uh, anime, so I'm hopeful, and not even hopeful, I'm certain that there will be some stuff that there wasn't there in the manga. Some stuff will be a little bit changed, some stuff will be reordered, uh, some stuff will be completely original, some stuff will be cut. And uh, of course, there's always the animation. If there is no other reason to watch it, the animation and the voice acting and all that stuff is the reason. Uh, that's why I've watched um, I've watched the second season despite having read the manga, because it's simply a completely different experience, and uh, I want to experience it. And uh, I was gonna watch it anyway, so why not watch it with you guys and uh, give you a little bit of special for two hundred and twenty-two subscribers, which I am honestly terribly grateful for you guys. Uh, my channel haven't seen this kind of growth in probably ever. Maybe like I, at the very beginning of, uh, of my channel I've seen a jump quite substantially, but from then on there was basically no growth. So uh, it seems like me shifting towards anime reactions was the correct thing to do, <laughs> because it seems to be in much more um, demand than uh, City Skylines videos. And this is a Robux team with uh, orange zest and cinnamon, but I also added a slice of lemon and uh, some rape honey. Rape is an actual plant, if you didn't know that. That's what canola oil is made of. Rather, canola, because it's like the um, the corporate name for rapeseed oil. Uh, some company makes rapeseed oil and name it canola. Because, I mean, rapeseed oil, rapeseed doesn't sound all that appealing, does it? And it's great. And uh, it should help my throat, because it's been hurting. Ever since yesterday, that's why Arifureta will be late. I'll be releasing it today instead of yesterday. Uh, I couldn't record yesterday, but now I'm better. I have my tea, I've taken some medicine, so I should be perfectly fine. Uh, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about 
Kobayashi Sanchi no Maid Dragon Season 2 OVA, shall we? Uh, right, one more thing. Uh, you might be hearing a little bit of a disturbance. Uh, my neighbors banging on the walls or drilling something. They're still renovating their apartment for some reason. Uh, if you've been watching my channel even before I got into anime reactions, if you've seen like my very first series on City Skylines back in 2020, I think, I was complaining about my neighbors drilling their walls and they're still at it. How many holes do you need? And it's completely unpredictable. They've been completely silent for the past month. I thought they were done. But no, today they're back to drilling, they're back to banging on their walls. So if you hear some disturbance, terribly sorry, but I closed all the doors in my apartment. I can't do anything more to stifle the sound. So yeah, that there might be a little bit of, uh, of a renovation sound. Hopefully not. Hopefully they're done. Uh, they've been silent for like the past hour, so... Maybe they're not going to be back to their shenanigans. Uh, we'll see. Well, I won't, because I have headphones. You will hear it, perhaps. Or not. Preferably not. <laughs> uh, okay, let's give you guys some subs. There we go. And the version. Well, the version that I'm watching is... Uh, where is it? Let me check it real quick. Uh, it's not subs, please. Oddly enough. I usually watch subs, please, versions, but not this time. This is an Animorphs release. Yep, and the details about this release... Uh, the video is from Kawalika Ross, AGVCX265. The audio is also from Kawalika Ross. Subtitles are by, are by Anon Base. Yeah. Retimed, whatever, changed styling and names to match Damedesio, localized some words, lazy typeset, yada yada yada. Uh, yeah, I think you will find it just by, just by the name of Animorphs, if you're looking for the same version. We'll see if it's any good. Uh, <laughs> hopefully the localization isn't uh, particularly egregious. Uh, I'm more of a fan of like literal translation rather than a lot of liberties being taken. Okay, let's not prolong it any further. Uh, I've already been talking for eight minutes and uh, I haven't even talked about the show yet. So, let's do that. And uh, let's start this uh, Kobayashi Sanchi no Maid Dragon S.O.V.A. by Animorphs. And it's going to be starting in three... Two, one, go. An airport. Is that Chloe? Okay, yeah, it's Chloe. Oh, Saikawa's gonna be pissed. <laughs> now, did Chloe learn Japanese? Or did everybody else learn English? Okay, the OP again. There is an additional layer of voices to this OP. I just noticed. When I was uh, watching this season, I was watching it with my uh, speakers. So a lot of the new ones was, was not there. But now that I listen to it with headphones there's a lot of there's a lot more layers to it a lot more interesting stuff is happening
I should get into the habit of watching anime with headphones. Okay, so I'm guessing uh, Japanese Hospitality is the title of this OVA. It's gonna be all about Chloe in Japan. She's big in Japan. <laughs> Probably not. Is Toru translating? Of course. Okay, I'm glad we're addressing that. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, that's a nice shot. Okay, the entire gang is here. Only Luca is missing. Oh, uh, right. Uh, fuck, you wanted to play VR, MMO, RPG, or whatever he said it in the uh, Christmas episode, didn't he? Uh, not in the Christmas episode, but as an attraction for the uh, for the people from the elderly, elder care, or whatever it was. Okay, it looks like both the characters and the animators of this show are having a good time with it. <laughs> yeah, it's always surreal watching people in full VR gear playing. Yeah, you're, you're one to talk. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's classic Japan. You can get figurines of different breast sizes from a machine. Sure, why not? Soba? Here's Elma. <laughs> uh, yeah, their relationship hasn't changed much, did it? Yeah, of course it's wrong. <laughs> hey, Kobayashi is supportive of it. So... It's fine. Kobayashi is slowly building a harem.
Damn. That's actually pretty crazy. <laughs> no, I, I don't think that's it. <laughs> Magia Bakune? Who's paying for it? And you basically are. You basically are. Someone's calling me, I guess I'm gonna call them back later. She's the mother of dragons. Yeah. She genuinely is. Kanna no Nichijo. I mean, it's a, you know, not really published manga, you can buy it. Shouldn't be any problem, you're already in Ayakiba. Saikawagakita! Netorare! <laughs> oh! Okay. I guess like mother, like daughter, Kobayashi has her harem and Kanna has hers. Let's both do our best in Kana's harem. Oh, right. I forgot that... Uh, Psycho is perfectly fine with it. Now add Iruru to the mix, and uh, Saika will just get a heart attack. What a show off. Can you jump from one to the other, though? And Psycho is getting sandwiched. And she's perfectly fine with that. Who's so persistent? I have to take off my watch because it keeps vibrating.
I mean, it was supposed to be a penalty game, so... Can you just randomly walk into a school on vacation? Is that a thing in Japan? They're going to the pool? Oh. I guess they are. <laughs> Watch Chloe come out in, like, bikini. No. A regulatory swimsuit. Psycho acclaimed Chloe for herself now. She can't swim, of course, so we need to teach her. Hmm. Clove swap. Yep, they swap clothes. Twister. Play Twister. <laughs> of course. Saikawa will be the biggest loser of the game, but also the biggest winner. I guess she's just gonna be the biggest winner. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I mean, that's not incorrect either, but... Fireworks? Will we ever see Kobayashi wear a yukata? That's what I want to know. Uh. 
They are. They are an interspecies family. Okay, I love how much care they put in that fabric. <laughs> Who the fuck is calling me so much? The whole gang? The whole gang. The best gift you could have brought. That's a lot of booze. Of course, Mide Talk. Kobayashi Stripping Toru. The classics. Not by much. Four more. Five more. found family, eh? She is! She genuinely is! <laughs> Meanwhile, Psycho is just spinning in her bed, and she doesn't know why. <laughs> that went from enemies to friends real fucking quick. Yeah, it should be safer than NY. Or maybe next time they should visit her in Minnesota. Two days is kind of short. Hmm? Maybe? Confirmed! Chloe is an honorary dragon. Or hell, with the magic, maybe they could turn her into an actual dragon. Okay, they're Skyping each other.
Nice. Season 3 of Dragon Maid will have uh, Chloe as the permanent addition to our found family. <laughs> That was a nice OVA, but it felt very short, you know? I guess that speaks a ton about how good it was, doesn't it? When, when you don't notice the passage of time and when you're craving more, that definitely speaks, speaks volumes about how good it was. But hey, it's Dragon Maid, right? It can't be bad. It just can't. It's Dragon Maid, it's Kyoani. I forgot the name of the studio for a brief moment. Yeah, it couldn't have been bad. No way in hell. I guess all that's left is keeping up with the manga and uh, awaiting season 3 with bated breath. <sighs> Although, I worry about that. The messaging about Season 2 ending was fairly mixed. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give you guys this view. And uh, I'm gonna pause the recording for a moment. And uh, I'm gonna see who was calling me. I'm gonna call them back. And I'm gonna be right with you. We're gonna go through the whole episode again. Okay? Okay, that's great. And we are back after this brief interruption. It was just my mom calling, asking if I already ate. I don't know why she wanted to know that, but, but she wanted to know that, apparently. Okay, uh, let's go through this episode again, as I mentioned. And uh, let's look at the particularities and peculiarities of it. Yeah, the, the whole episode is all about Chloe. Uh, I thought we were gonna have some more stuff in it. Although, then again, the first OVA was... Was the first OVA only the, um, the Hot Springs? I can't remember. I can't remember if the OVA to Season 1 was only their trip to Hot Springs. Or was the uh, whole, um, the whole, uh, what was that? Uh, Valentine's Day shenanigans, also part of this OVA. I think it might have been. So it kind of covered, like, two things, and this episode just covers one, Chloe in Japan. Uh, one more thing I'm kind of unsure of is... Is this episode actually based on... Is this episode based on an actual chapter from the main manga? Or is it based on Kana no Nichijo? Kind of feels more like Kana no Nichijo, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, the manga is so, you know, uh, so ahead of it that I already have kind of forgotten how it all went. Uh, I guess that's good, because my reaction was pretty much blind. <laughs> so... That's always a bonus. And yeah, I can't recall if it was an actual thing in the main manga or is it something from Kana no Nichijou. And there's a robot in the information desk. First time I noticed that. Interesting. Uh, wait. Oh, it's Lukoa. Uh, I saw this frame. Yeah, I saw this frame, and for a moment I thought that they added Chloe to the OP, and I just didn't notice that. But no, it's Lukoa. Right, Chloe doesn't have these uh, maze-like looking eyes. It's supposed to be the Mayan calendar, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's no Chloe in the OP. And, of course, it's the magic spell that does the translations. What else? What else would be doing that? And, uh, 
It's probably been cast on Chloe, since uh, Take could understand her as well. I wonder why does Chloe not question anything here? Perhaps because she was warned beforehand that they can cast a spell on her? I don't know, maybe. And of course, Kyoani, they are great at, at using lighting, aren't they? Yeah, the lighting is always great in Kyoani shows. And yeah, we're gonna be slowly but steadily meeting every member of the Kobayashi Gang. Uh, this VR game thing, I think it might actually be like the animators of the show flexing. Uh, the animators and the uh, VX artists with all the particles and with the scan lines and with everything here. Is this QAni flexing on us? Yeah, this whole animation of the boats appearing is just a flex. <laughs> Doesn't look that great from the outside, though, does it? And Chloe is already a member of Kana's harem. She's the uh, second wife. Saikawa is the first wife, the head wife of the harem. Chloe is the second wife. Uh, or... If Kana ever gets into like business or politics or something where probably not politics but maybe business where she has to go like between countries, she's gonna have one wife in Japan, she's gonna have another wife in the US. So whenever she travels for work, she's gonna be there with her wife, either one or the other. <laughs> I didn't know that Japan had all entire like places with those uh, capsule uh, capsule toys uh, they are they exist like in Poland where I live but never this many you might have like maybe six of them in one place sometimes when you go to a big shopping mall or to some tourist location you might see like a single chunk like those white machines here you'd see something like that but most commonly red in the big shopping mall or in some tourist spot. But having a whole place sacrificed to it, damn. I can never uh, I can never stop myself from throwing in a couple of coins and getting at least something and it then lays somewhere and gathers dust. <laughs> but it's so addictive. Probably why I got into gacha. <laughs> Yeah, of course, Toru being a hypocrite, Iruru getting plastic boobs, gift for Take. I guess it's like, yeah, it's, it's just a boob gacha. It's it's just a boob gacha. That's that's what it is. Hmm. I wonder when are we gonna see like actual mobile gacha game where the characters you pull for are based on boobs. Like a character kind of like uh, in Azure Lane, everybody's named after a ship. In Ghost Frontline, everybody's named after a gun. You'd have a uh, double D bikini. You'd have, uh, I don't know. See uh, corset, corset, or however you pronounce it. You'd have uh, an e underboob. Those would be the names of characters. It's kind of shocking that nothing like that has appeared yet. And of course, Kana's looking at food, and it's feeding time. And who is more of an expert on feeding than Elma? And yes, Chloe, you are correct. They are a real Japanese fighting couple. Uh, kind of spoiler to the manga. So silence it and don't hear it if you don't want to hear the spoiler. I'm going to raise my hand 
yeah, I'm gonna raise my hand when the spoiler is done. <clears throat> Three to one spoiler time. It's kind of going that way in the manga. <laughs> Have a little bit of a romantic triangle between uh, Toru, Elma, and Kobayashi. And I'm all for it. Boy, am I all for it. Kobayashi deserves her harem. Absolutely. And uh, spoiler end. Oh man. It'll be fun if we ever get into. if we ever get that far with the anime. There are so many fun arcs in the manga, and so many deep arcs, and so many dramatic arcs in the manga, and so many outlandish arcs, and I want to see every single, each one of them animated. I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind at all if Dragon Maid was like a long-running series. Uh, if Dragon Maid Season 3 had as many episodes as there are needed, right? Episode 300, like One Piece or, uh, I don't know, Hunter x Hunter. Although maybe not like Hunter x Hunter because it goes on hiatus so often and for so long. <laughs> but, you know, like a long-running show, like Black Clover and all those. Then again, if it was a long-running show, it wouldn't have this much of a production quality, would it? Because it all takes time. And uh, if you have to have an episode ready every single week, uh, you can't spend like five months on pre-production. You have to constantly churn out new episodes. The quality, and um, of course, suffers. Unless your team is huge and uh, extra well-coordinated and you have a lot of money, then the quality will suffer. And I would hate for that to happen. So, rather than that, I think I'd like to have a season of Dragon Maid every couple of years. I'd be fine with that. Now, season 3 announced for 2023, uh, season 4 announced for 2025, and so on and so forth. That'd be great. That'd be genuinely great. And um, seeing how popular this series is and how popular this anime is uh, seeing how it got a collaboration with uh, alchemy stars gacha uh, seeing how there is a game a dragon made game coming who even thought of that a game based on dragon made what seeing how all those things are coming i'm hopeful i'm hopeful that we might just see Season 3 and 4 and 5 and further. Then again, uh, as I mentioned at the end of the, uh, of the reaction section, the messaging of around the end of Season 2 was kind of mixed on uh, part of QAni and on part of like the official Twitter. Mm, it kind of sounded like season 2 was the last of Dragon Maid we've seen. I hope not. I sincerely hope not. I sincerely hope that we will see season 3 at least. Because we have some very important arcs to get through. Kimun Kamui arc, for example. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the Magic School arc. All those arcs, I want to see them animated. I really, truly do. Because I want those... It's not even that I, I personally want to see those stories animated. I want people who are anime only to experience them. I think that's a better way to put it. Right? I want people who only watch anime, who haven't read the manga, to experience the stories contained within the manga. Because they are worth experiencing. And uh, if you are an anime only right now and uh, you're watching my reaction to it, I implore you, read the manga. It's great. It's genuinely fantastic. And uh, it reads super fast and you don't even notice the passage of time when reading it. And you can read it from the beginning, from chapter one. Uh, because there 
there have been some changes to the order of events, to, to the events themselves, so reading the manga is a little bit of a different experience than watching the anime. I recommend, I highly recommend you read it. And uh, you can come discuss it on my server. I'm up to date, so no need to worry about spoilers. Uh, if anything, you have to worry about me spoiling you the manga. <laughs> but hey, if you want to wait until season 3, if it ever comes, I guess that's fine too. Just saying that it might not come that quickly, or it might not come at all. We don't know that yet. Uh, there hasn't been any official confirmation either way, if I'm not mistaken. If there has been, then I missed it completely. And uh, you can, of course, correct me down in the comments. They are extremely insincere. Uh, I would have thought that they got over it by the end of Season 2, but no, their dynamic is very much still frenemies and more accent put on the enemy's part. Adds a lot of food. And there is... Yep. I love it. I love Iruru. It's getting screenshotted. And save. And a couple frames before that. There we go. Screenshotted. And saved. And I'm gonna make them into uh, emoticons, into emoji on my server. They would work better as uh, as stickers, probably, but we don't have enough boosts yet. We don't have any boosts. F go figure. There are Discord servers out there that have like 3,000 boosts and you only need 13 to reach maximum level. And there are servers like mine that have zero boosts. Hooray! Discord really should add like boost limit to servers, all those that have, like, maybe maybe keep it at twice the maximum amount, so that if a boost expires, then your server doesn't instantly downgrade, you have a little bit of leeway, but allowing servers that need 13 or 15 or however many boosts to acquire hundreds is kind of wasteful. And yeah, what Toru said here is very much true. They are very much like a family on vacation. Uh, not even like, they are a family on vacation. Two moms, their two daughters, and uh, their daughter's friend. You know, walking around... Uh, it's not Shibuya, it's... Uh, I forgot the name of it. Uh, uh, Akihabara. Yeah, walking around Akiba showing the friend some nice places. I guess two moms, there are two children, the children's friend, and the ex of one of the moms. <laughs> that would be a more accurate <laughs> description of the situation. Dragon Maid has the best fight scenes, doesn't it? <laughs> And the normal day in Kana's life. Kana no Nichijo. That's, uh, that's a hint that it might be a story from Kana no Nichijo. I'm not entirely sure. What are those particles? Oh, right. It's the... It's Saikawa's dynamic entrance. Yep. Dynamic entrance and an immediate freeze. That's your wife's wife. That's who it is. Your wife's boyfriend. Did you happen to invest in crypto, Saikawa? Because that would check out. <laughs> uh, and of course, Chloe is very much attached to Kana and... Uh, mm, in uh, introduces herself as Kana's partner. And of course, Saikawa is very much weak to cute girls. She doesn't mind that her wife's wa that her wife has a wife, 
because her wife's wife is actually cute, so she wouldn't mind being the wife of her wife's wife. Saikawa doesn't mind this romantic triangle. She wouldn't have minded if Iruru joined them. She would have liked it. Here's the Mr. Whatever, I forgot his name. And yep, Saikawa is living the dream. Getting sandwiched between Kana and Chloe. As I said, all that's all that's needed is Iruru. Add Iruru to the mix and uh, Saikawa's just gonna fucking explode. I mean, she already exploded, but she would explode like even more, leaving a crater. Hmm. So I'm assuming uh, during uh, summer break, the school pool is just open. I guess it makes sense, right? Uh, it would be wasteful to keep it closed. Why not make it into a place for the local community to hang out, right? Yeah, I honestly thought that Chloe brought some American swimsuit. You know, maybe not like Monokini or something like that. We're talking about the child here. But something that isn't a school swimsuit. And uh, I was wondering what Saikawa's reaction would be to that. But I guess Saikawa doesn't need much more than just a school swimsuit, does it? And she's already claimed her as her second wife. I thought the three of them are gonna play Twister and Saikawa is gonna get sandwiched again, but... I think Saikawa is having a good time, even without participating. We're Dagashikashi now. Take only likes boobs. I wonder, hmm, pretty much everybody here knows about dragons, right? Uh, yeah, uh, Kobayashi knows about dragons, uh, Shota knows about dragons, the, uh, what's his face? Uh, I forgot his name, damn. Mm, give me the list of characters in Dragon Age, please. Takia. Yeah, Takia. Am I correct? Takia. Yep, yep. Uh, Takia knows about dragons. I guess only Take doesn't know about dragons. And uh, Saikawa. I wonder when are they gonna learn about it, and if they're gonna learn about it. It's not something that's been explored in the manga yet, either. Uh, I don't know how much of a spoiler for the manga it is. I guess it's not much of a spoiler. Uh, but yeah, it hasn't been... Uh, the status quo hasn't changed in that regard. It would be interesting to see uh, Saikawa's reaction to learning that Kana is a dragon. The whole gang is here. Why is everything... Okay, everything is dark because I'm looking at the frames in the fade. Yeah, my to maid talk and... Uh, Kobayashi stripping Toru. It's a staple of her drunken discussions about mates, isn't it? Kobayashi just being incredibly assertive. And yeah, everybody besides Kobayashi in that group is a dragon. Kana really, really likes cuddling, doesn't she? And she really likes Chloe. And Saikawa really likes Chloe. And she doesn't mind anymore that her wife is a wife. Because she realized that her wife's wife is her wife as well. <laughs> and she doesn't want to be a part. I guess she's a dragon too. An honorary dragon. Why not? There we go. That's the OVA to Kobayashi Sanchino Main Dragon S. Uh, 
Kobayashi Sanji no Mail Dragon S Nippon no Omotenashi Atendua Dragon Des. Yeah, what a mouthful of a title. Uh, I forgot to switch the view. Now it's switched. It was a nice OVA. I mean, there isn't much more to talk to to say about it. Uh, it didn't cover any significant, you know, story things, story moments. Uh, it didn't offer any answers to any mysteries. It didn't create any mysteries. It was pure, pure slice of life. Uh, it only made me wonder about uh, what would happen if Saikawa learned about Kana being a dragon, what would happen if Taka learned about Iruru being a dragon. But besides that, it was just a, uh, a nice dessert, I guess you could call it. Uh, the second season, Made Dragon S, was the full course meal, and it was great. And this OVA is a very nice dessert to finish that meal off. Uh, it doesn't require you to chew through it. It doesn't hit you in the face with overpowering uh, flavors. Mm, it isn't particularly hot. It isn't particularly cold. It doesn't require any particular technique to eat. It's just a plain but delicious dessert. Exactly what was needed to cleanse the palate to, uh, to finish the season. I think, I think that's the best way to describe it. And uh, as much as I would like to discuss it more in depth, there isn't much depth to it. So, yeah, I think I don't think I'm gonna make this video any longer than it needs to be. Uh, do I really need... Do I need to mention anything here? No, I don't. No, I don't, except reiterating my hope that we will see Season 3 sooner or later. And uh, reiterating my other hope that you will give the manga a shot. Uh, if you can't wait until Season 3, go read the manga. Uh, I did it after Season 1 ended. I couldn't wait until Season 2. And I started reading the manga. And I'm up to date. And the manga is amazing. Absolutely do give it a shot if you don't have enough of Dragon Maid in your bloodstream. I think that's it, really. I'm thinking about what else should I mention about this episode, but I don't think there is anything. It was simply a nice send-off, uh, one last flex by Kyoani of their ability to um, create great lighting, great animation, great art, to create amazing characters, great dialogue, uh, one last flex by the voice actors uh, who were amazing throughout the series. Uh, Dragon Maid is really... It really has a standout, uh, standout voice acting. It's really up there, at least in to my untrained, uh, untrained ear. The cast is really doing doing their best. And uh, you can definitely feel the love to the series by everybody who who was involved in it. Right? It's immediately visible. When I compare something like uh, Dragon Maid with something like Dolls Frontline, I think that would be the best example. Uh, now, don't, don't get me wrong, Dolls Frontline is a good anime, but you can definitely see that it wasn't made by um, by the studio who was fighting to get the right to create an adaptation to the beloved series. No, it was a studio who was paid a hefty sum of money to make an anime based on a certain property. In case of Dragon Maid, it's, it's the opposite. You can feel that the people involved in it aren't doing it just for the paycheck. They are actually involved in it and they actually love the series as well. The love really shows. 
I think that's it. I don't think I have anything more to more to add. Uh, I'm gonna order myself some food, and then I'm gonna record two more shows. Uh, my throat just got better, and I have to already record two more shows. Uh, hopefully, that's not gonna make my throat any worse. Yeah. So uh, again, thank you everybody for 222 subs. And uh, I appreciate every single one of them, especially the 41 brand new subs. And I guess that shows only the new subs in 28 days. Uh, I appreciate every single sub ever since I went back to YouTube. Uh, both during my um, City Skyline series and the other games I've been playing and of course my anime reactions. You don't know how much it means to me. It really means a ton. So... Uh, yeah, now I'm gonna end it. Now I'm finally gonna end it. <laughs> so as always, um, what do you thought of this episode? What do you thought of my reaction? Uh, do you have anything else to say? The comments are open. You can comment down below. Uh, if you like this video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. But tell me why so I can improve. Uh, subscribe to the channel so you get notified of other releases. Uh, currently I'm reacting to Ari Fureta Season 2, which will be releasing today. Sabiku Ibisco, which also will be releasing today. Symphogear, that released yesterday. Mm, Girls Frontline, that released the day before. And uh, Tokyo 24 Ku, which released the day before that. That's my current lineup. If any of those shows interests you, give it a shot. There's gonna be like playlists linked somewhere in the corner here. So you can click them and you can go straight there. Join my Discord server. Link is in the description. It's open to everybody. No need to pay anything. No need to, I don't know, leave your personal data or link your credit card or anything like that. Click the link and join us and talk about things. Uh, talk about let's talk about the Dragon Maid uh, uh, manga. Why not? If you're interested, I can even link you where to read it. Why not? And uh, if you have any comments that don't can't go into the comments of this episode for some reason, you can leave them on the Discord, of course. Uh, you can join my Patreon if you really like what I'm doing, or if you want one of the benefits uh, for a dollar a month, you get access to a special channel on that aforementioned Discord server, and you get a roll, a nice, a nice uh, orange color, so you stand out of the crowd of uh, other people on the server. And for 10 bucks, you get early access to non-seasonal shows, which uh, this season it's just Symphogear. So if you really want to watch episode 5 of Symphogear, it's already up on Patreon. Episode 4 is up on YouTube. Anything else? Uh, share this video. If you want to share it, if you know someone who uh, wants to see uh, the reaction to this OVA, but I don't know if anybody else reacted to it. Maybe it's so, maybe not. If you know someone hungry for another reaction to it, recommend mine. Uh, word of mouth goes a long way when it comes to getting views and uh, getting you know exposed to other people and other audiences. So I would really honestly appreciate it. And I think that's going to be it from... Uh, yeah, that's going to be it. That's going to be it. So, that's it from me for today. And as always, do all the good stuff. And uh, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Cheers. And uh, this is another benefit that my Patreon supporters get. They get to be on this list at the end of every single video.